My subscriber count has increased by more than five times since I did my last subscriber celebration video. So I thought that a cool treat, I guess, would be to show you kind of how I live. I live in kind of a shared living type deal where each and every person get in this apartment building gets their own their own room and their own um yeah there's their own space. We share a bathroom per floor that has a bunch of cubicles and showers and things like that. And we share a kitchen that has a bunch of stove tops. And while I can't really show those because they're not my space, I can show this space. It's pretty small as you can see, pretty cozy. Um not a lot of room. Um, but it's good enough. The rent here is pretty freaking expensive for what you get out of this. 320 New Zealand dollars a week. And that's just because the location is very much in the city. Other places are cheaper, but they're more further out. So, here we've got my air fryer. I don't really use this too much, to be honest. Oh, by the way, I should mention I'm recording this on an actual camera rather than my phone camera. Just to try it out, see how it feels. Anyway, I don't really use this air fryer much anymore. It's kind of too inconvenient to have to clean it every time. I prefer just using the oven, though it is slower to use the oven. This wardrobe has lots of storage. Lots and lots. Lots of different shelves and things like that. Drawers. Keep my cooking utensils in here. Yeah. Um. Got some clothes up top, down below. And there's more space down there as well that I've just put random stuff that I can't use. That's a monitor stand. I think there's a monitor in there as well. Yep. I don't know if you can see that. More clothes. Yeah, you get the point. Now actually, down here, under the bed, got more things, more storage. Bunch of papers, containers, and books, and all that jazz. There's another drawer on the other side, and these kind of storage devices are essential to my living because I have so much stuff in this place. Yeah, queen size bed, it's nice. More shelves over here. I can give you a view outside. Please don't dox me. I don't know how well you can see through the reflection, but here's the outside. Here's my wireless Wi-Fi adapter. This thing's a beast. It does cause me some grief though, but I think honestly that's the apartment Wi-Fi and this thing is not to blame. Box of electronics in there. Here's my computer setup. Um, one sec. There we are. Here's my computer setup. It's got two monitors connected to it at the moment. One below, one up top, which is connected. She's connected. And held in place via this monitor arm, which is connected to this shelf. It doesn't look very stable, but it is actually. This has never come close to falling down or anything like that. It's not the most practical of setups because this is wonky. I also can't see the bottom of this monitor when I'm sitting down. Like so, so if I'm messaging somebody, I can't really see the text boxes in the middle. Uh, there's a another light here. Yep, desk lamp. It's pretty cozy when the ceiling light's off, and that's off. It's pretty cozy in here, but I can't really show it if I max out the ISO. It still looks pretty poor, pretty grainy, of course. Got a drink on the go at the moment. Ribena Black Current fruit juice syrup. This is way more expensive than what I usually get. I typically just get some off-brand blackcurrant syrup, but they didn't have any at the supermarket when I went, so I got this stuff and I do not regret it. This might be a luxury in my life that I do indulge in. It is so delicious, oh my gosh. Take a look at this setup. So in my Skyrim videos, the videos that take up the vast bulk of my channel, my mouse is right next to my microphone and that is, of course, shown here. This is why it's so audible in my videos, it's because it's right here. There's my mouse pad, but I spilled water on it and I haven't put it back. Because I'd have to, because it, because it's a full desk mouse pad, I have to take all my monitor off and all my peripherals and put it underneath everything. And, and I mean, look at this brilliant cable management here. Oh my gosh, this would just be too easy to take apart, you know? 
kidding. It's horrible, I know. What is this, a... I think this is a Xiaomi mini vacuum. This thing is a beast as well. I need to empty it, but it's very it's very useful in keeping things clean. I've turned into kind of a medication hoarder. I don't really get sick that easily, but I've just collected medication over the years. And I don't even... I don't even know. There's a lot here, isn't there? <laughs> Stuff from my fridge here that I no longer need. Let's take a look inside. Let's see what I got here. Um, these energy drinks um, are for this weekend. League of Legends, uh, World Finals. Um, so yeah, I'm, I generally don't indulge in energy drinks, but this week is apparently a week of indulgences with this Ribena and these energy drinks here. Some bread there, water, apples, ketchup. In here I have burger patties at the back that I eat with the bread. Big enough for my needs. And in here, the other side of my bed, the rest of my food. Um, I live off these noodles, basically. These are my favorite flavor, and they're the cheapest. I've made some TikToks about these. Some popcorn cookies. These are the cheapest cookies you can buy at the supermarket, um, period. This popcorn, again, I bought this week, is another luxury that I don't really indulge in very often. And this was sent here by my family, the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. This is way too expensive, I would never buy that. Yeah, this is where I'm at at the moment. It's, uh, it's nice, I can't complain. It's the only place that would actually have me when I had to move here for school. The value, like the amount of space that I get for $320 a week is absolutely abysmal. It's pretty, pretty ridiculous. But it is in the city, and I can get to school pretty easily from here. When I get some steady work and steady income, I hope to move out pretty soon. But yeah, thanks for the view. Hope you enjoyed this insight into my life, and I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? Cheers. This is a bonus if you guys want to know the source of that whirring sound you hear in some of my videos. I've mentioned it's a helicopter and there is said helicopter right outside. as you can probably hear. I can't really hear much else at the moment. And away it goes.